Well, ni nimesema kwa pengine kwa niaba ya wabunge wale nimesikia tukiwa tunalaumiwa zaidi kwa sababu ya ceiling ambayo ilikuwa 60% tukapitisha ikakuja 90%. Kwanza wacha nikubali niseme ni kweli tulifanya hiyo. Mimi ni mmoja ambaye nilikuwa nimepinga na nimekataa hiyo mambo. Na sababu ya sisi mimi na pengine wengi kupitisha tuliweza tuliweza kuelezewa kwa njia safi sana kuwa serikali inakopa kwa banks za Kenya na inakopa na 14%. Na ikawa hiyo pesa kulipa kwa mabanks yote kwa sababu sasa mabanks hawapewi wananchi pesa walikuwa na pesa ni is easiest and it is safe kukopesea serikali tukaelezewa mi mmoja nilikuwa nimekataa kabisa tukaelezewa hapana tumepata njia ingine ya kumaliza shida hizi na shida ni muweke 90% mkuweka 90% tuta, tumepata njia ya kukopa pesa kutoka nje na 2% hata ingine wakasema 1%. Wakasema hiyo pesa tukikopa tutapewa miaka 30 ya kuanza kurudisha. Alafu baada ya hiyo tutalipa pesa hizo zote tumekopesa kutoka hiyo tutalipa local banks zote. Ili mambo ya local borrowing kwa kwa serikali ikwishe. Kwa mtu yote nomo na ana mafikiri mazuri kama wabunge we saw that is a good idea. Yaani utakuwa na relief ya pressure for 30 years with 1 or 2% na tutalipa local banks kwa sababu local banks feel safe wakikopeshea serikali pesa kwa sababu wanapanga interest within themselves and it is guaranteed ukipeana bila bond kwa serikali utalipwa is guaranteed so we thought that would be the best thing kama wakati ya kibaki wale walikuweka wajumbe wengi waliona Kebake did that na akamaliza local borrowing ya mabank kwa serikali mpaka mkaona bank ilikuwa inatoka nje ya bank kwa street inaweka hama na kupiga gengele kuambia watu wafungue account without deposit na kupea watu pesa na kwa njia ya interest ya chini na kupembeleza mwananchi Ako, akope pesa kutoka kwao kufungua account was free so we thought we are going back there as member of the parliament that's why we agreed let's go 90% vile tumeambiwa na serikali ni wakubwa yetu eh tutapata borrowing kutoka nje na wamepanga ya 1 or 2% na baada ya hiyo walipe local bank that's why we agreed but it did not work tulipitisha imeenda sasa ile mpango ilikuwa hiyo pesa kuwa borrowed na ikuje ilipe local banks it did not pay local banks ilikuja ikaingizwa kwa biashara zingine ilikuwa ika, ikakuja ikaingizwa kwa wakubwa wengine ndani sasa katero ikaanza and that's why we are in pressure na ningetaka wananchi waelewe mzuri parliament did not do this in a bad faith they were doing this in the good faith for the kenyans lakini we were fixed na ndio naona ile siasa tuko nayo Kenya the problem haina ukweli the people you trust the government you trust ikikwambia ABCD wewe ukua moja unataka kusaidia wananchi wako wasiingie kwa shida unakubali unapitisha jambo fulani lakini saa hii tumeelewa ile proposal zinakuja kwa bunge MP should be very careful it is not sincere what we are being told and what it works it is different so tutaumisha wananchi wa Kenya and i will tell you after today mambo ya kiongozi kusema ukweli ni hii na tutafanya namna hii kibaki said that it worked sasa inaonekana we are in problem na hii continuing borrowing hii italeta shida and then we tell you Kenya there is a very simple solution ya kurudisha economy ya Kenya let me give you just one example Kenjen inauza 
ndiyo inauza 4.04% ndiyo inauza stima lakini imewekwa group wako wengine hapa katikati haiwezi kuuzwa direct iende kwa power wakono wanakuja wanasimama hapa katikati moto ikitoka kwa Kenjen wanawake wana pesa wao hapo wanauzia power 24 shillings na power also want to make the, the profit iko na employee so hiyo mziko yote inakuja kuwekerewa mwananchi wa Kenya and it's not known the Kenjen and I'm telling you that cartel World Bank imesema openly one of the condition imesema hiyo hiyo brokers wako katakati ya Kenjen na power World Bank imesema when releasing this money hiyo katel lazima ifanye nini and I want to tell you Kenya is not only that the problem we have in the country is very simple anything ikiwa imetengenezwa pipeline inakuja wakora katikati ukiana kwa safari kom kwa shares nini wakora wanakuja katika and the same wakora few of them wana wanasumbua Kenyans kwangu bahati constituency tuna GDC imechimba mashimo ili ingesaidia sisi kwa power imepata moto lakini the fight which is there now ile head ya kuweka juu ili moto ikitoka inapitia hiyo head hiyo ndiyo imekataza moto itoke huko kwa sababu iko vita na ile vita iko ni nani ataweka hii head and when you put this head kama kama simu ikuweka hii head GDC moto inatoka hapa inaingia kabla ifike kwa power hapa sasa iko brokers wale wanaweka hiyo head na kuweka mita yao yani moto ikitoka kwa GDC inaenda kwa head kwa kichwa hiyo yao wanafanya bei wauzie power even when we are cheating Kenyans we are connecting people with the steamer million and millions it's true but they are not doing that in a good favor they are connect watu na steamer they are doing so they can have enough people kuvuruta saka damu yao as nyalele said man eat man society wananchi kwa steamer wamewekwa mlicha ya maji pande hii na damu inavutiwa pande hii we shall never survive in this country if these brokers can be removed Stima na kila kitu yote na Kenyan na nini yote iwe ikienda direct to the Kenyans we shall reduce the problem ile tuko naye the economy you come itasimama mzuri sana but we have just a few people in the cartel and i want to tell Kenyans that's where there is a problem yani kuna wachache na washibi kila kitu wanaweka mulicha kabla ifike kwa mwananchi and don't forget Kenyan GDC ni kodi ya mwananchi mwananchi ndio ametoa kodi baada ya kutoa kodi broker anakuja katikati kukula mwananchi for investment he has done to reduce power hata hii mafuta ya trukana they still cartel iko wale wanakaa katikati yani hakuna kitu itaweza kupita ni kama filter nothing can pass there mpaka wao wakuwa wamekula na wanakula pesa nyingi sana so today power is grounded hata watu kuandika watu ya kusoma mita hakuna if you go to power ile kiu kubwa iko huko ni ya watu complain estimated mita estimated 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 kwa sababu hakuna watu wakuja kusoma mita power cannot even be able to employ properly now na huko tunapika power lakini katero haiko kwa power there is somewhere wamevurutwa damu ile kitu inaingia kwao ni maji ambaye haina damu haina vitamin vitamin inakamwa inakamwa na wachache and let me tell you Kenya hatutatoka kwa hii mpaka katero hii ila watu wanateka pesa ya mwananchi hapa katikati mpaka wakati wataondoka and that's why you're saying there is a problem mwananchi ameumia ya kutosha today if you look at the country the politics is going on umeona ile shida imeanza sasa ate kuna dawa inapiganiwa hapa ya kutoka Russia 
na ingine kutoka wapi so you pretend ina wapi let me tell you and i want to talk with mutai kagwe and i want you to come soba usikuwe umelewa na power najua uliomba kiti ya nyeli ukanyimwa so you have no powers of the one inch you are just nominated as a minister but i want to let you know bill is on the passable do you know people are going muriundo kutafuta dawa ya kukiwa covid watu wengi tuko mustuni tukitafuta miti ya kuchamusa na ndimu na nini tangauzi na hizo vitu yote tuone whether we can cure ourselves and people have been cured because of the faith kama watu wako mustuni wewe uzungumuzi kama watu wanaenda roliundo that's not an issue lakini you won't bring this cartel hii dawa irudi pahali moja ndio wale wachache brokers wale nimetaja kuja katikati ndio wale watakuwa agent ya kuusa hii dawa if americans respect russia and americans wanachukua hiyo dawa ya russia russia is not a small country tuliona hata ile pesa 700 billion ile tuliambiwa na bwana d economist that 700 billion 1% igenunua dawa ya kuponya watu wote Kenya 1% not 2% it is only 1% hiyo pesa ilienda wapi hiyo pesa ilienda wapi let me tell you mtabebesha punda mizigo mpaka atapika magoti kwa sababu now people are sick dawa inakuja kukiwa watu it doesn't matter where it's coming from Munafunga bila kusema ni nini mpaka mtengeza kateli yenu and people are dying I'm sure kuna mtu Kenya hayesabu mambo ya death every day every week a friend a family a neighbor ambaye amechukua na covid Yeye mnakuja kutangaza hapa na matumbo yenu kubwa hiyo dawa itaijapitishwa haijafanywa nini instead of saying kuna dawa imekuja we are going to approve it very fast ataja petition wa tena world eh, health organization world organization na sisi nyinyi hamuna watu kemri na watu wengine hamuna ya kufanya hii university zetu you could have said you are doing this within two weeks dawa ianze kukuja kama inakujia mustuni kama inakujia wapi kama inanyesha kama mvua tuponeshe watu yetu but you are so interested bila mtakula pesa let me tell you mtakula but one day mtatapika mtakula lakini one day wale wametuacha wako binguni wanaongea na Mungu and they know the truth and you won't tell people from today ukiona mtu yote mgonjwa zungumuza naye umwambie akienda kwa Mungu kama hata baadika kupona akienda kwa Mungu aambie Mungu ya shida tuko naye hapa Kenya we are finished by people na kiu ni kiu hawashibi na ndio sema akikuu isema nyota plus nyota no nyota yani kiu plus kiu it is still kiu si mushibe muachie Kenyans to survive mushibe ile mnakula if you don't do that baada ya hiyo mnapata hiyo pesa yote ya ukora mnaanza kuleta confusion in politics confusion confusion nyinyi jiungane region hii mkuwe na mimi ndio nilianza hiyo niliona mbele Mungu alinionyesha nikasema we are starting creating paramount chiefs wewe Kalonzo wewe ni paramount chief ya Wakamba wewe Mudavadi wewe ni paramount ya Waluya wewe ta ni paramount ya Bukusu wewe Leila utaenda kuwa paramount chief ya Nyanza wanatafuta mwingine naye akuwe wa Kikuyu paramount chief akae huko you have divided this country with the money which you are stealing and you have divided this country this country is divided lockdown iko i respect the president well he said very well five counties which is true lockdown for five counties i agree with the president 100% because we are also there we are seeing how people are dying but he could have come with a solution the five counties we are putting this budget of curing these people wachomwe shindano 
wapewe chakula wapangiwe hii that will be the solution but now we are locked down to die hospitality today and if the president if you don't know let me let you know and our governor Lee Kenyanjui is crying because mambo ya oxygen and mambo ya hiyo vitanda haitoshi na kumu sasa and we respect the governor he has tried all what he can lakini there is no space many people wanatoka hapo wanapeleka tonoeki wengine wanapeleka Mombasa wengine wanapeleka wapi na hospitali nayo yawakora wachache private hospitals wametengeneza mashini ya kunyonya watu mtu anaenda na hakuna kitu anafanywa ni oxygen ya ukora ya ukora namna hii unasikia milioni tatu, milioni ine. who is going to save us hii pesa naomba kwa nini tusiongeze vitanda we had the beds we had the oxygen there is no space people are dying in the corridor because there is no way you can be admitted And this we cannot brave the government we cannot brave the the, the government the, 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 we cannot brave the the county government even many governors care so you had 700 i don't know billion you alipewa hii pesa ingine ilienda wapi every county ilipewa pesa kidogo sana ilienda wapi si wewe mwenyezi Mungu utusaidie watu wa shibe hii pesa wa shibe na hii ya covid ili Kenya ianze kuamuka na kuendelea there is a problem unaitwa siasa au kabila eh hey, religion hii religion hii wakataka kujiunga kwa kukua eh pala mauntifu ya kwenu unaanza kupigwa when are we going to unite this country there's a problem na mimi naona watu wanafuata namna hii wanakataa wakikataa wanapembelezwa wanarudi namna hii when shall we be known as Kenyans who can talk the truth and have a stand of what we are saying i've just made this statement because Nimejaribu kufumilia. I never wanted to start coming out quickly. I was mourning my death of my son. But I've said enough is enough. We have to talk with the Kenyans. We have to tell the Kenyans the truth. Because we shall be blamed. What did you say when you knew there was a problem? Na tunaambiwa kwa Biblia kitabu ya Mungu hakuna ule hata piga magoti mbele ya Mwenyezi Mungu na upeane rekodi yako. So we as leaders if we cannot talk the truth tunaendelea kufuzungukwa na kuhongwa nasikia sasa hata kuna mpango imepangwa. Na mtakuja kuiona. Mimi nasemaga mambo kama mtabiri wa hewa. Hii COVID nataka kutumiwa and the government want to extend two years. Wakimbizi ya BBI haijawekwa deadline ziku gani baada ya hiyo watakuja kwa bunge na itapitishwa na wabunge why wabunge wote wanakuwaga deni wamebeba inamalizika six month before the election lazima benki ikuwe ime tumia mshahara wako imefanya nini hakuna mbunge anakuwaga na deni when you are going six month in fact if that's the time The MPs wataweza kuwa wanakuwa vetted kwenda binguni kwa kukosa kuwa na deni MPs can go by that time. Lakini saa hii na wanaenda kwa siasa. Wakurudi waambiwe kujeni tuongeze miaka mbili, mbunge aone atapata pesa miaka mbili bila kukatwa deni, atapata pesa kwenda kufanya campaign watapitisha. It's only me who not pass it. Kwa hivyo Kenya nsikati yani mkijua the extension for for two years. Na ile mambo iko mbele yetu yote ni ya ukora ile inafanywa. So Kenya let's pray there is God in heaven. There is God. Hata hii ugonjwa. There is God in heaven. And I want to talk a bit of about the covid. Why is it spreading so much? I have to tell you the truth also. From my own research. Watu ni wagonjwa unaenda kwa maombolezi mkijua you are sick unaenda kuamkisha wengine some of them they don't know the status but they are sick wanaenda kwa mazishi wanaenda kwa maombolezi wanaenda kwa gathering wanaenda kuambukisha wengine if we can take care of ourselves even your own family wale amkai pamoja tumia simu kuongea don't allow them to come in your house don't even yourself also go to the house that to reduce ugonjwa because 
hii ugonjwa haitoki kama mvua juu ni kuambukishwa watu wanaambukishana we don't care kwa matatu we don't care on gathering we don't care kwa mazishi we don't care kwa fino we don't care unaenda ukijua you are sick unaenda kuambukisha mtu na unakia bagini baadaye wanajisifu i was sick mimi nilirudi nikapona tu namna hiyo wale wengine wanaambukisha wako na other conditions unajua ni wangapi wao ulipona kwa sababu una conditions zingine wale wana conditions zingine we are killing our people kenyans let's stop killing our people kila mtu akae pahali yuko lockdown ifanyike lakini tutavutiwe kiwa na watu watavutiwe chakula na ifanywe kwa system ambaye watu wataweza kusaidika lock ni just at once no business no movement 